With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Attorney generals in 20 states warned CVS and Walgreens last week they will violate the law if they sell abortion pills through the mail. CVS and Walgreens, the country's largest pharmacy chains, announced they would carry and dispense the abortion pill after the FDA changed its rule in early January to permit the sale by retail pharmacies. The pill is the first drug in a two-step process commonly referred to as a medical or chemical abortion. In their letters to the companies, the attorneys general rejected a December opinion by the DOJ that the Postal Service can legally deliver abortion drugs. Federal law, however, they say expressly prohibits using the mail to send or receive any drug that will be used or applied for producing abortion. Harvest Church in Kinnening, Pennsylvania is one of the latest congregations partnering with local elementary schools to host a Bible to school program designed to teach children about the Bible and the gospel during the school day. Each Wednesday, volunteers from Harvest bus nearly 50 kids from West Hills Primary School to the church's campus during the students' consecutive lunch and recess periods. The hour-long program includes a large group teaching while the students eat lunch, a small group teaching featuring crafts and a lesson review, as well as a closing time of worship complete with memory verses. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His great commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. IMB President Paul Chitwood says the biggest problem in the world is lostness. The world's great problem is lostness, a greater problem today than ever before, he said. Literally a greater problem today than it was yesterday. Chitwood calls on believers to step forward with financial generosity and for churches to mobilize to take the gospel to those who have never heard. He spoke recently at an IMB meeting where more than 45 fully funded missionaries were commissioned to be sent out across the globe. Read the full story at our website, baptistpress.com. While you're there, make sure to subscribe to our morning and afternoon email. You can also sign up for one of our newsletters. It's all there at baptistpress.com. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today.